Recently, community regional medical centers, doctors, nurses, and technicians completed training on new imaging technology to help treat disorders and diseases of the brain, spine, and nervous system. The equipment is part of a multi-million dollar investment the hospital has made to revolutionize neurosurgery in the Central Valley. It's more than fancy equipment. All of this technology gives surgeons precise and immediate views inside the brain and the spine. While patients benefit, surgeons use these tools. MedWatch asked a few of them to show us what it all can do. We have a, a strong neurosurgery program here. We have a lot of, uh, of, of high-end technology, the latest and greatest technology. This here is the stealth navigation system right here. This works with infrared cameras here. Among the new equipment is the Stealth Station Trion, the most advanced surgical navigation technology in the world. This new equipment basically tells us where we are precisely with millimeter accuracy and allows us to understand exactly where we are in space, in a small hole, inside something. Then there's the interoperative MRI. The uh, interoperative MRI is a, uh, a portable MRI unit that we use in the operating room to uh, be able to uh, image the patient while they're in the operating room and to uh, be able to navigate as well uh, to look at the, the tumor and to be able to analyze how much tumor has been resected and where do we need to direct our efforts in removal of the tumor. The O-arm imaging system moves around the operating table, feeding live and constantly updated images to a computer screen located just inches from the surgeon's hands. The O-arm or O-ring is one of those pieces of equipment that has two primary advantages when compared to traditional equipment for surgery. The first is that it allows for very accurate placement of spinal instrumentation. The second advantage of it is that it allows the placement of this instrumentation uh, with very minimal exposure to radiation to the patient. The Opmeme Penteral Microscope offers tremendous improvement of the depth and light of the operating field and does not move even when repositioned. The microscope, the depth and focus of the microscope can be set to zero right in on the surface of the lesion. So the microscope will act as a tumor. If you just follow your eye in the scope, where, where the center of the, the view is and where it's in focus, that's where the tumor is. Community Regional was the first in the world to offer Gen 4 CyberKnife technology. The, the CyberKnife is a, a frameless, stereotactic uh, radio surgery system that allows us to uh, apply uh, bladed doses of radiation to tumors, tumors which are located in the brain, in the, in the spine, the cervical spine, the thoracic spine, the lumbar spine, or even the sacrum. Community Regional's 50,000 square foot imaging center is already home to two 64 slice CT scanners and the Valley's only biplane angiography system, all of which allow for better diagnosis and faster care for the patients. These give us a way to, to do what we need to do more effectively, quicker, with less risk to the patient. Um, and, and so they're, they're tools that help us take care of patients in a better way. And now Community Regional has a new dedicated ward with 52 beds and operating theater. The true benefit of having a, a floor that's dedicated to neuroscience is that we have individuals who are specifically trained to uh, assess neurosurgical patients to be able to identify a problem uh, and to uh, take appropriate action if they see, see a problem. So it's that specialized training that uh, is very helpful. Fascinating and great news for Central California neurosurgeons and their patients. Few hospitals around the country have this new equipment and the ability to integrate this type of medical information right in the operating room. For more information, log on to our website. It's medwatchtoday.com.